Hey, what's up everybody? Wade Boggs fan here. Uh, first of all, I, I wanted to thank uh, everyone for uh, all the, the views, likes, especially the comments over my last uh, two videos. Uh, more of a more topic discussion with a little bit of uh, showing off some cards. Uh, but I really do appreciate uh, the comments. Uh, they were really good. Um, I think I responded, hopefully I responded to all of them. Uh, and again, I, I really uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch those videos. And as I've mentioned over the last maybe week or so, working on organizing my non Wade Boggs cards. And again, I've showed off some rookies and, and some other cards. Uh, so I thought for this video, I'd do a little bit of a showcase of some of my Frank Thomas cards. Uh, again, just, just going through some and saw some that were pretty cool looking. So I thought I would uh, show them off. So for for once, I'm going to cut this intro here uh, short and turn the camera around and let's go take a look at uh, some cards of the Big Hurt. All right, uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of uh, the Frank Thomas rookie cards I have. Unfortunately, I, I thought I had one, but I don't have his 1990 Leaf, which is his biggest uh, rookie card. I have the Sammy Sosa, but for some reason, uh, it appears that I don't have the Frank Thomas. But uh, here's his 1990 Bowman rookie. I have uh, one of his uh, Flare update. And I have one of his score rookie traded. Uh, nope, this is regular score. Nice big smile there. Here's his uh, 90 score rookie traded. And I have several, of course, no, none of the no name on fronts, but I have four of his tops rookies. Then I have a, uh, and again, some of these that I just picked out, they're, some of them are common cards, but I just like the design of them. And there are some other inserts that uh, maybe not, not be too valuable, but uh, um, I think are somewhat hard to, to, to come by uh, some 90s inserts. But here is a 91 Stadium Club, his second year card. Uh, love the shot of that. Uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, one of Frank's many home runs, but it looks like one of his home run swings. Gorgeous uh, photography there for Stadium Club. And um, his 91 tops. Uh, just, I don't know, I, I like that image of him getting ready to mash the ball. Um, I don't know, just the overall design with the color of the white socks, his uniform, the color of the card. Um, just visually appealing, but a uh, fairly common card. Um, then I think this may be his 92, yeah, 92 Stadium Club, but this is the Member's Choice parallel down at the bottom there. You can see the Member's Choice um, foil. This one I always like there. I, I think it's a very underrated um, set. Um, came out uh, a couple years, uh, but these early ones here, I think, uh, I'm not sure which year this is from, uh, maybe 93, 94, something like that, in the middle of junk era, um, so, you know, they're not worth much, but the studio. Just, I, I love that card with the, the White Sox logo in the back, his smile there, the facsimile signature, and sort of a, um, foil they're like a rainbow foil almost uh um and this is the base card and you know i i, th I think studio had some really nice cards that they put out fortunately it was just the wrong wrong decade i guess um and there's the you know simple back not a whole lot of uh stats but just the the front of these i've always liked the studio cards Then here's one from 95 Fleer. It's an insert, a lumber company. 
Then we have uh, from Ultra, I'm not sure, I think it's 95, Ultra, I think it's either 95 or 96, it's hard to tell, uh, but the gold medallion version, like he's uh, on deck there waiting to, to hit. Then this one, I think it's part of the base set, but it's um, Ken Griffey Jr.'s uh, hot list. And it has sort of like an etching uh, to it um, that's really cool. I don't think it's like the Dufex that uh, Pinnacle had, but it's just uh, just like a multi, not multi-layer, but just different sections there with that foil. Um, I don't know, it really makes it shine and a, and a pretty cool card. And like I said, it's not an insert. It's just the the base from uh, what looks like 97 upper deck. And here's an insert uh, from uh, Leaf 95, Leaf, I believe, 300 club. So he had uh, 300 and 326 career average at the time. So he was... He was raking it, especially during uh, his uh, MVP years. Of course, Boggs is top of that list at 335 at the time. Then Gwyn, then Thomas. You got Puckett on there, Piazza, Mattingly, Mark Grace, Ken Griffey Jr., Paul Molitor. So minimum 1,000 career at-bats, pretty good company. And of course, that's one of the reasons why he made the Hall of Fame, plus his 500 plus home runs. Here's an interesting, uh, don't know if many of you uh, remember this or have seen this. It's a tops insert. Um, boy, man, the, the, the years are so hard to read down at the bottom. I'm not sure what year this is from. And I actually have two of them. They did a etch a sketch, magic etch a sketch screen as an insert. I don't know how tough these were. I mean, I have two of them, so they can't be super tough. But just interesting, I, I, I remember, you know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm 48. I remember playing with an Etch-A-Sketch when I was a, a kid. Um, I'm old enough to remember that. Uh, most of you younger collectors will have no idea of what an Etch-A-Sketch is. Uh, maybe you want to look it up. Um, but uh, pretty interesting insert cards there. Then here's some of the Dufex technology from Pinnacle. Uh, it's the... Um, naturals, but it has that uh, um, Dufex. I don't know if it's a it's a starburst. Okay, so it's a starburst parallel with the Dufex uh, technology there, and just really the shine on it, and the, that Dufex is really really cool. Then here's another one from '94 Leaf called Slideshow. And I, I, I don't know if this was an official uh, negative or something like that, but supposedly it was taken at a game, um, the uh, California Angels at the time, at the Chicago White Sox on August 8th, 1993. And it is a sort of a see-through, as you can see there, um, slide of... Uh, his picture there. So if you look at the back, you can see that it's the, the negative there on the other side. Um, really cool insert there. Love that, uh, just that, that insert. Anyway, um, here's another neat one. This is like a full acetate card from uh, Ultra, Flare Ultra from... Maybe I can see this one. 1999, it looks like. Swing Kings. So you got uh, completely acetate there. Everything. Oh, actually 2000. Sorry. Um, should, have seen, should have seen that. I was looking down at the bottom there. But anyway, um, you know, he's cut out there and all the information is on his cutout. And... Um, Cool picture of him and Swing Kings. Then a more modern card, but again, just like the look of it. Um, this one is from, looks like 2018, 
18 tops triple threads just like the the the, the background the multicolor background there him waiting at uh you know first base looks like the the pitcher's ready to throw the ball getting ready to be set up there uh at first base you got the sort of gold rainbow or something foil at the top there and down at the bottom just an overall nice looking card again it's his base card not a super rare insert parallel or something like that speaking of an insert in a parallel uh, this is from 2016 Donruss, and it's the career home run, uh, the career, I guess it's the, the career stat um, parallel. So you got the shiny foil going on, numbered out of 500. Um, I pulled this one out of a pack. Well, most pretty much all of these I pulled out of a pack. Um, career home run totals, 521. But it's numbered out of 500. So neat Donner's card there. And not too bad that it doesn't have the logo, uh, the team logo. You're just basically missing it from the helmet. Uh, but they did a good job hiding it from his um, uniform. Now, this one here, it's this was, I think, part of a, a redemption. I forget exactly what it was. But if you collected certain things, I don't know if it was points or codes or something, you could send it off to tops, and you'd get one pack of maybe four or six cards. And um, I, again, trying to see what year I should have done some 2012. So 2012 tops, and these were gold rush cards. Um, I was looking through the checklist, and uh, look like looks like there's a trout in there. Uh, I don't have, I didn't get the trout in the. I think it was one pack that I got, but I did get a Frank Thomas gold rush. Those look pretty cool. Um, of course, looking back now, I would have much preferred getting the trout uh, because that's a few hundred dollars, I believe, if not more. Um, but it's still a cool card of the big hurt there from that uh, sort of redemption promotion thing that Tops had. I don't know what the production run on those is. Um, I guess it all depended on the number of... Um, Redemptions uh, sent in. Um, this uh, next one here is... I showed one of these off for... I forget which player it was now. Um, the other day. But 2015 looks like. Uh, baseball royalty. Of uh, Frank Thomas. That's just a, a thing inside the sleeve there. I got to get rid of it. But uh, a clean card. Um, but... Again, it's it almost looks like I'm trying to get the glare away here. It almost looks like that is raised foil, but it's actually just printed on the card. But it gives it a, a 3D look the way they do it. So, and here again, just for the the design of it, uh, Gypsy Queen Mini from 2013, just like the. Look of it here, running the bases. You don't see he's either you know at you know fielding or hitting the ball. But here's one where he's uh, running the bases. Um, so I thought that was a cool design there. And uh, finishing up, just a couple more here. The the next two are from Topps Archives. Um, not sure what the years are here one of them looks like 2016 and i'm not sure what the other year is but uh, really neat designs this one uh, is patterned after the 76 tops design uh man look at those arms I, I think his arms are bigger than my legs um just big guy and uh no wonder he could crush the ball but uh could also hit for average so he wasn't just a one-dimensional you know swing and if he hits it's a home run if not he strikes out um he had a nice career batting average but uh love this retro design of the 76 tops as well as the retro design of the 79 tops again i'm a you know vintage guy at heart so to see some of these modern players in some of these older designs i really love uh but that is to me that's one great looking card right there um, 
again, just a, a base card. Uh, I mean, you'd probably find this in a, a 50 cent box or something like that. But um, to me, it's more than just the value of the card. It's the eye appeal. It's the design. It's the look. It's I, I could look at that card all day, regardless of whether this was $100 or 50 cents. Um, I just, I don't know. I love the look of that card. And finally, speaking of loving the look of a card, and I've seen a lot of other people um, make comments about this set. Obviously, the set is I becoming the word, you know, the I word, iconic, because of the Trout Rookie. Um, and this isn't from 2011 Tops Update. It's actually from Series 1. Uh, but it's the Diamond Anniversary Edition of Frank Thomas. Again, um, it's almost the same. It almost looks like the same pose. Let me get that. Where not, where's that mini card? Um, here it is, the Gypsy Queen. Um, I just realized it's almost... I think that's the same exact photo. <laughs> I just realized that. It's the same photo they used. 2011, 2013. Interesting. But... Um, back to this card here, um, these, the, the parallels and especially the diamond anniversary is it, just becoming extremely popular, uh, again, due in part to Trout being in the Tops Update and some of the other, uh, rookies in Tops Update, uh, and you get Freddie Freeman, I think in either Series 1 or Series 2, but just a look at that card, I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous, and it's not—it's not even a serial numbered insert, which is what is, is fine with me. Nothing, nothing. You know, it doesn't always have to be serial numbered and low population for it to be a really cool card, and that's what that is. So I'm going to end with that and get that there in uh, in the center there, trying to show off some of that shine. There we go. Well, hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at my Frank Thomas cards. Again, nothing super high-end, uh, just your, your basic, you know, few inserts here and there. Um, but again, just appreciating the cards themselves, the design, the picture quality, um, you know, you name it. They're fun to look through and enjoy. So with that, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, and I'll catch you next time.